Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back with another sneaker unboxing. It has been a while. I didn't have time to unbox this, so I saved a little, saved a couple of sneaker boxes up for you guys so I could do this unboxing for you guys. So now I'm going to start with the first of three boxes. I don't know if you can see other boxes, but I have three boxes. First, I'm going to open this quick so I can display all the boxes. Uh, on the table and the last box the biggest box of the three You can see big orange box, a black box, and the red box. So as you already know, Nike, one second, Nike, the Jordan, most of the time it's a Jordan 1, or it's a Jordan 1 mid, Jordan 1 low. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think all of these boxes are Sakai's. So, First, I'm going to start with this one. So, let me see. Air Jordan 1 Mids, GS size, white po pollen. Um, it's a nice colorway. So, two sneakers. I'm only going to just take one out of the box. It's, uh, yeah. It's a good colorway, nothing special. We already had the uh, Jordan 1 Mitch Gym Red and also the Jordan 1 uh, Razor Blues. So they, these were all the same except uh, the swoosh and the Air Jordan wing logo and the back heel and the tongue were in red or blue. And now it came out in yellow and this is also called the Jordan 1 Mitch Pollen. It released in the same week as the Jordan 1 High Pollen. Um, those are similar to the Wu Tang Clans Jordan 1 Eyes from back in the day. So, uh, same colorway, same look, or same color, almost same color. They dropped in the same week. Um, it's nothing special. I was able to cop one, so I only have one. It's a size 39, it's a minus size, so probably I'm going to move this one. Um, I don't know if these also dropped in men sizes. I haven't seen them yet. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these dropped in men sizes, but also men, this, this is also a sneaker that men can wear. Not most of the times if the sneaker has yellow in it or pink in it, most of the times it's for girls or for women. But this sneaker, it's kind, kind of low key yellow and it's not that bright yellow. So I like that. But what I like about these sneakers, the Jim Red has it also the Razor Blues. Um, the shoes logo, it feels real good, it feels good, and also the back heel, like this feels like kind of leather, but this feels like soft, soft uh, suede, so I like that. So now on to the next one, I'm going to start. These ones, these aren't for mine, but I was able to cop them, uh, someone, someone that uh, I owe him, because he does a lot for me in the sneaker game. Uh, he asked me if I could get this one, so I was able to get it. The Nike Dunk Low Retro, official color, name, slash code is Wolf Grey Dark Obsidian. So it's not my size, it's a size 45. I, he wanted those, so I got them for, for him. So, um, it's a big one. It's a big sneaker. It's a big sneaker, but he has big feet. Um, it's a dunk. dunk. I don't know what's happening, happening, but Nike is dropping dunk after dunk after dunk. Like these dropped the the they are also called the Nike Dunk Georgetown. They also dropped uh, on the same day 
Uh, it was a women's dunk, the Nike Dunk Bordeaux. I like that one. It was with wet, oh, wet. It was with white and red, Bordeaux color red. Um, now, next week, they're also going to drop the Nike Dunk Michigan, uh, blue and yellow, and also the, the um, green one, Nike Dunk. I'm not 100% sure, but I think the name is Spartan. And they also dropped some other dunks, like the Scrap and Heist. And also, again, the, the Dunk High Panda they're going to drop again uh, next week. And also, they had uh, the Nike Dunk High Navy, Navy Blue. So, Nike is dropping Dunk after Dunk after Dunk. And this sneaker, mm, it isn't really, it's okay. It's okay, especially if you weren't able to cop uh, a Nike Dunk Panda. It is similar. I like that it has gray, so, but I was used to the, the white, so it's a kind of, not really, but it's, I think I have to get used to it. But the only thing is what I can see on this sneaker, the quality control of Nike was poor. Look, a glue stain. I hope that it is a glue stain. Also over here, a glue stain. Let me check the other one. I don't know. Same. No glue stains over here. So quality control of Nike on the left sneaker wasn't that good. Uh, I paid 100 euros for this. It didn't came with extra laces, but 100 euros it's okay. It's a fair price, just a dunk, not too expensive. I paid 85 euros for these babies. And now I'm going to open up. These, my own size, Nike LD Waffle, color name, Blue Void, White Obsidian, size 9.5, baby. Um, I don't know if you already know it, but I was all able to cop these sneakers on the Nike app. Um, this is already the, let me see. Um, I think this is already the fifth pair of Nike Sakai collab that I was able, or that I'm able to talk. And I think this is the, no, six, six. I think this is the, this is the fourth waffle pair. I also have a couple of blazers. And I think this is the fourth waffle pair that I'm able to cut. Let me see if it comes with the extra set of lasers. Um, yes, it comes with an extra set of white lasers. So I'm going to put this one back in the box, like nothing special. So the Nike LD Waffle, huh. this is Nike Sakai LD Waffle, a collab with Sakai. Um, it is a kind of basic colorway. I don't know why, but it's just white with dark blue. Like the, the first one, it came with the, with the, with the shiny colors. It was, they had uh, yellow, green, orange shoes. You also had the red one with blue and I think something like a golden or yellow shoes like these were screaming like look at my feet look at these sneakers but these are just basic like a little bit of a sneaker on the background the only thing that is special on this one is of course the the, the back heel with also the double shoes but like it isn't that that screaming like it's a collab especially with fragment also and Sakai, so I would have um, thought it would have been something more outspoken. But about talking about that, next week uh, is also going to drop the Nike Sakai collab with Cloth. I like that one because that colorway is very similar to the Kiss of Death sneaker. So I always loved that Kiss of Death sneaker already from back in the 2004 five or six when it's released. I didn't have them, I also didn't have the opportunity, but someone showed it to me and I like the see-through 
um, part on the, on the toe part. So that color was always in my mind. And now it's also going to, it's going to come in this colorway on this model. I need to have that one because now, like I'm not one of the first guys, but now this model is growing me and now I love it. But when I first had it, I was like, nah, not, not, uh, uh. but now that I have it, this model, I would call this the Waffle um, 1.0. You also the 2.0 model. Both, they are fire. So if I can get the collab, or club collab, I'm happy, I'm happy. But, hey, you never know. But back to this sneaker, I paid 170 euros for it. Um, mm, let me see. I'm not exactly, oh, this, the bottom, this is uh, the sole, okay. The bottom is black, but this sole is dark blue. It's the same dark blue as uh, the rest of the sneaker. Then this is white, so nothing basic, but a little detail, like this is dark blue and not black. So this is black and not dark blue. Um, the material of the sneak, it feels okay, it feels good. Like, um, yeah, it's a, it's a good sneaker to have or to have. I think it's a good sneak, basic sneaker that you can rock to a lot of occasions because it's a dark sneaker. Like it isn't that outspoken anymore at as other uh, collabs, or yeah, collabs with Sakai. You also, of course, you had the white ones, but always white sneakers are always, unless you have an all white outfit, but otherwise, all white sneakers are always like shiny, or yeah. And the black collab, it was okay, but also more laid back for like, hey, look at my sneakers, but I don't want to get all the tattoo. And this is basically in the same category. Um, look at my, my sneakers, but I don't want to get all the attention. It also released in a gray colorway. Um, I also tried, of course, for the gray one, but unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to get the gray one. But this is also a nice one. The gray one, I think the gray one would have been more, more personal thing because it's more, uh, yeah. Yeah, if I was able, to, if I had to choose between the blue ones and the gray ones, I would have for sure picked the gray ones. But if I have to make a top three out of these sneakers, yeah, one, two, three. So yeah, easy, easy, easy guess. I think everybody is going to have the same top three. Also, it's personal, but that's because darkest or blue, dark blue, blue is my favorite color, and both of these sneakers have it. So, but I like this model more. I like this model now very, very much. So, of course, it's an easy one to put this one on the first place. Then second place, this one. Mm, it's, this color still has to grow on me, but I prefer dark blue instead of um, yellow. So, hey. If you have other top three, leave it in the comments. If you uh, haven't done it yet, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also follow me on Instagram. And if you want to be one of the first persons to know when I drop something new, press the notification button. I'm out.